All the way from Africa, the NBA has been calling Talib Zana. He's been single-minded in his quest since childhood to leave from Nigeria to the world's biggest basketball stage. So single-minded, in fact, that when faced with the gut-wrenching decision to leave his U.S. high school for his father's funeral back home, the 18-year-old senior chose to stay put. Zana had to avoid even the chance of encountering visa problems upon his return. I think that was the saddest moment I ever had. And it really touched me. I was playing this game because of him mm -hmm. and trying to make him proud of me, mm -hmm. but it never happened. It's, it's his time. Had Zana's dad lived a bit longer, undoubtedly he would have been proud of his son's accomplishments following his solitary journey to America. That's because the 6'9 forward, who starred for Bishop McNamara High in suburban Washington, is now one step closer to his dream. This fall, he'll join one of college basketball's powerhouse programs when he heads to the University of Pittsburgh to play for coach Jamie Dixon. While this young man's journey began far away in Nigeria, in the city of Kaduna, Zana's experience is more common than ever before. That's because in the nearly 30 years since NBA Hall of Famer Akeem Olajuwon left Nigeria to forge his basketball legacy in the U.S., camps have been sprouting up across the African continent. These camps serve as the first stop on the hoop talent pipeline, which funnels young Africans to America. From the occasional prospect to make the trip in the 80s, today, the AP has learned there are 170 Africans playing collegiate ball, and another 100 are enrolled in high school programs. Naturally athletic as a kid, Zana first took up soccer, but he literally outgrew the game and switched to hoops. I started playing when I was uh, like 12 years old, you know, I was a soccer player, I loved playing soccer, but um, when I realized I was growing taller and my brother told me, you know, I would probably have a good advantage playing basketball, so. Zana's exposure to the professional game first came through television, which has also helped sow many more hoop seeds in Africa. We had the NBA, you know, right. TV, yeah. the ESPN, right. and we watch NBA, so yeah. that's how I had the love for the game and some players. Zana attended basketball camps like this one. Later, he went to one in South Africa, where he won MVP honors and met some NBA players. That's when I realized I'd probably be a special player in the United States and probably go to the NBA. American high school coaches who traveled to Nigeria agreed, including Bishop McNamara's Marty Keithline. He met Zana at a big man camp run by Godwin Owanje, a former player at Georgetown. And after months of conversation and dedication to immigration paperwork, Zana was on his way. With tuition paid by an anonymous benefactor, Zana left behind family and friends and enrolled at McNamara. But for the sophomore, homesickness soon followed. The first two weeks, I was at a coach, I, mean, I need to go back home because I can't, I can't do this no more. But his father told him to be strong, and the younger Zana stuck with it. So I stayed strong, and um, you know, I'm used to it now. Last season, Zana led Bishop McNamara to a 21 and 12 record, with the Mustangs finishing among the top teams in the state, and Zana garnering national attention. After mulling 13 offers from some of the best programs in the nation, including Villanova, Georgetown, Yukon, and Oklahoma, Zana selected Pitt. Zana will study international business, hoping to become a successful businessman like his late father. But success of a different kind has already come by inspiring players back home in Nigeria. When I came over America, you know, a lot of people calling me, oh, I want to be like you, you know, come to America, be a basketball player. Today, seven African-born players are currently in the NBA, a number which is not statistically significant. But since Elijah Wan's day, the trend of Africans on NBA rosters is clearly upward, and Talib Zana is doing everything he can to be part of that trend. John Klobuchar, The Associated Press.